Hello, I'm Leslie Coretti and I'll be your host today. We have a lot of exciting things to talk about that are going to be happening in the month of June as well as a special guest speaker that you will, you will meet very, very shortly. Now, the Taste of Laguna Woods is the main event of the month and we have several clubs that are going to be participating with us on this. Uh, the Indian Club is going to be making Indian food and uh, um, the Healthy Living Club also is going to be bringing healthy, wonderful food to this event. So a lot of things are happening on the 8th of June at Clubhouse 7. You can get your tickets at the door. $10 for small eaters, $15 for people who are good eaters, and $20 for those who want to just taste it all. So we look forward to seeing you on that day. And don't forget, just a couple days later on the 10th, we have our healthy brain chair exercises and cognitive exercises at Clubhouse 2. And that is in the morning at 10 o'clock to 11.15 at Clubhouse 2 in the Los Olivos room. We do that once a month, every month, so uh, mark your calendars. Now our regular active wellness club meeting is going to be held this month on June the 11th. And we have a special movie that we're going to be talking about cancer and reversing the most deadly disease of our time. So you don't want to miss it. Several doctors are going to be talking about methods that they have been using to help clients. Uh, that's June the 11th at Clubhouse 5 for 4.30, no, 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock in room 1. Next, we have our health fair, which you'll be finding more about that in just a minute. But the health fair is June the 15th. We'll also be doing free uh, ear exams and many other uh, health practitioners will be there. Our special speaker, which you will meet, Paul Amata, in just a few minutes, will also be our main speaker of the day and the, the, um, this will begin at 11 o'clock. The door is open between 10 and 2, so you can come anytime. But you definitely don't want to miss the lecture. Now, the Mindful Eating Club, they are having on June the 17th um, from 11 to 1 at Clubhouse 2 in the Los Olivos room, they're having a potluck. So if you're interested, you want to contact Nancy Fisser at gmail.com. Now, <clears throat> coming up, just so that you can mark your calendars next month, we are going to have the annual, the second annual Caregiver Seminar and Expo. And this is presented by the Active Wellness Club. So we look forward to seeing you there. Just mark the date, keep it in mind. Um, because it's going to be a very special luncheon and we'll have a panel again so you can get your questions answered. So let's meet Paul. Well, welcome back. Today we have a special uh, guest speaker with us who's going to be at Wellness in the Woods. Uh, this month and the event is going to be on June the 15th and we are so excited. Uh, so let me introduce Paul to you and you'll get a little tidbit of information about what he's going to be talking about at the health fair. It's very, it's going to be very, very exciting. So Paul, thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to be with us here today. But I understand that you're going to be talking about special things that we, a lot of us have talked about, but we really don't know the real story. They kind of hinted a little bit last, uh, at our last health fair, right. mm -hmm. and um, one of the other uh, um, speakers talked about you in a positive way, which mm -hmm. was really great. I'm like, oh, okay, so <laughs> you're very well known in right. the, uh, how would you say, the medical mm -hmm. arena. Yeah, the regenerative therapy kind of uh, arena. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, which is really, really great. So um, when we're talking about, we call it uh, cell regeneration, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. what does that actually mean and how does that happen? Could you give us a little bit of uh, information uh, to enlighten us because, you know, 
I'm not saying we're in the Middle Ages, but this is all very new technology right. for everyone, yes. really. Yes, Regener uh, regenerative cellular therapy uh, isn't you know real new, but it, but in essence, in terms of of people's understanding of it, or um, actually what it can do. What it can do. That's the key thing because yes. it's been around for probably decades and decades. Uh, back in the 50s, 60s, that's where they started seeing that there were certain cells in the body, in the blood specifically that had um, these regenerative uh, abilities where it actually was able to duplicate and then even turn into other cells like bone, t tissue, right. blood, muscle. Right, um, right. And then in the, uh, in, in the 1980s, that's when they did the first bone marrow kind of transplant. But, um, so, but, but a lot of uh, uh, people weren't really keen on it because they, saw, they thought, well, they're using embryonic tissue for this kind of thing, and, and that's no longer the case. Okay, great. So yeah, that is a big issue. That's, that's a huge I issue. I mean, in people's minds. Absolutely. You know, whether or not it is scientifically an issue, but yes, we all are very conscious of where the materials come from. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, so to continue to give us a little bit more inspiration. Well, so, so regenerative uh, cellular therapy is just basically um, giving the body the, the environment so that it can heal itself. It mm -hmm. can, you know, regrow tissue and just like we were in five, when we were five. You know, when we're five or very young, if we got an, a, a bruise or a cut, our body right. would heal itself. Yes. Right? And then it would only take a few days. Yes. But then as we get older, we start to age and the body's ability to heal itself starts to diminish. And the reason is this, is because when we're a brand new baby, one out of every 10,000 cells is this cell that everybody's talking about, is a stem cell. Oh, okay. A mesicomal stem cell specifically, and that has to... Uh, a mesicomal stem cell? A mesicomal, uh, yeah. Mm, a mesicomal mm. or MSC. MSC, okay. MSC is like a super, super cell that can turn into anything. Like they're talking about superfoods, now we have super cells. Super cells, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, very good, because that, that's specifically what we all have. And mm -hmm. when you're a baby, one in 10,000 is a, is a mesicomal stem cell. But then as you start to age, it falls off really fast. Uh, uh, by the time you're 50, it's one in 400,000. And by the time you're 80, it's one in 2 million. Whoa. Right, so and that's so why we don't we, have very many of these super cells left. Correct, exactly, and the ones that we do have, they kind of get tired, and then if we get a cut or a bruise, they're like, oh, you know what? Leave me alone. I'm I'm retired now. Just <laughs> leave me. You know, it's okay. We'll be all right. So, so what um, what science has now been able to ascertain is if you can reintroduce stem cells into the body. Mm -hmm. They don't really heal, but they have your, your, your own body. They kind of wake up your cells. Hey, wake up. And it's yes. like, okay, all right, I'm ready to work now. And, and they've uh, seen that studies have shown that when you introduce young stem cells, mm -hmm. your own stem cells basically kind of turn into young ones as well. Right. It's just kind of like uh, you haven't run in a long time, but your cells remember it. Very good. That's a, excellent. That's a very good analogy. Absolutely, okay. because you're, you're you, exactly. They're yeah. like, oh, I'm retired. Oh, I remember what I used to do. Oh, right, now yeah. let me get to work. Mm -hmm. And it's your own cells that then go in and start to regenerate, rebuild, regrow the tissue. Uh, they, they have this um, inflammatory, the, this anti-inflammatory kind of property, so people can feel with no pain after a while. Right, right. Well, what you said earlier that actually this research started in 1950? Well, it, it, you know, exactly. And I can remember they talked about bone marrow mm -hmm. and, you know, simple things like that, which, you know, we didn't think that much of it because we really didn't know anything about it exactly. at that time. Indeed. But now it's getting to be a lot broader and a lot more things like, so what can it actually help? Well, it can help, um, for the most part, if people have pain, any joint pain, mm -hmm. or even neuropathy, if they have something that their body just is in pain, and that pain is really a signal. The signal saying, hey, I'm hurting, come and help me. So what happens in, all the, in every instance whenever we have an injury or pain, uh, your body sends off these chemical signals. These chemokines go out, and then they call for these cytokines uh, that are really the foreman. The foreman right. come over and say, okay, here's what's going on with this. Let's build a scaffolding around it. That's what they call a scaffolding. And yes. then they call over the big kahuna. MSCs come and help us, and they start to rebuild, regenerate. The MSCs are the super the cells. The super cells. Exactly right. <laughs> yes. Exactly right. Yes. So, uh, so that, that's, what, that's what takes place mm -hmm. in terms of that. But again, as we, get, as we age, those start to um, not work as, as well. 
Plus, there, um, our cells get bombarded all the time with free radicals, right. um, you know, because we're just in an environment of, of electricity and pesticides, pollution. So all of our cells start to age. And um, it's interesting because we're kind of growing until we're 20. Right. And as soon as we get to 20, it seems like we start to drop off. Well, a lot of people say that about men and women. Right, right, <laughs> I didn't right. want to say anything yeah. special, but, yeah. you know, uh, as we get older, things change. Our body does not function as, as when we were teenagers. That, exactly right. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's forgiven. Everyone knows that. That's correct. So what, what stem cells do, and another area of technology called nutrigenomics, which kind of work in a hand to hand, mm -hmm. is what they do is create this environment in your body so now the cells can regenerate and start healing itself. Because that's the way, you know, God created right. us. We're, right. we're, we're created so that our body, its health, is going to be able to heal. No, no, I totally agree with you in the fact that our bodies give off signals of pain mm -hmm. when it needs help. When it needs help. You know, and there's very, very few people uh, that really understand that the signal is to do something about it. It's not to just take medication in to the, conceal it. That's correct. And, and that's an unfortunate thing is that the pain is just a symptom. Mm -hmm. And so when, when somebody goes to the doctor, okay, I have pain, then the first thing that they're going to want to do is, okay, well, let's deal with the symptom. And they give you medication uh, that all it really does is mask the pain. It doesn't exactly. really. And so, you know, what, what, what's kind of tragic about that is then people say, okay, I don't feel any pain anymore. Great. I can go and do the things I was always doing before playing tennis, playing golf. But the reality is, though, is that they, they could be doing more damage. It's just that the pain is now being masked. Right. So what the stem cells do is they actually go in, uh, and so what we see is that people stop feel, uh, they, their, their pain diminishes within 24 to 48 hours. Ooh, A lot wow. of them do that. Wow. Most of them might just say, wait a week, then the pain's gonna go down, but mm -hmm. some people feel it right away. Mm -hmm. And so then the pain starts to diminish, and now the real work starts to happen in the body, and uh, again, there's this, uh, there's this, this uh, scientific word that's called paracrine, paracrine signaling. Paracrine signaling. Very good. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that happens when cells start to die and they let, let off this signal saying, help me. It's like a flare. Help yeah. me. And so when you introduce these brand new, young, vibrant cells, mm -hmm. then they go into the body and they, they start to um, basically... It's, it's basically like having our grandkids for the day. Very good. <laughs> That's excellent. We have to run around and catch them. <laughs> exactly right. You, you, then it, it, it makes you young again, yes. in essence. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. then all, they start, all of them start working and then these in new, newly introduced cells start to die off. Because they, they don't live in there forever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when they do that, they, they send off these flares, and then more cells come. And that's why the regeneration continues even beyond uh, um, you know, the, just 24 hours. It, this, could, be, the, this, it could be years. This treatment. This treatment. 80% of the people who get this type of treatment only ha need it one time. Oh, wow. And then it continues even years beyond the rebuilding, the regenerating continues. Wow, wow. Well, I am definitely looking forward to actually seeing a little bit more about the science mm -hmm. behind yes. it, which uh, Paul will be talking about at the health fair and giving us a more of a complete, more of a uh, scientific explanation of how this happens and why it happens. And this is going to all be at Clubhouse 7 uh, on Saturday at 11 o'clock. We'll start the lecture. Uh, we're also having an absolutely fabulous luncheon. Uh, we'll have salmon and some wow. really nice uh, exotic black rice on that day wow. because we want to energize mm -hmm. everyone who comes that day. So uh, look in the globe, make sure that you mark your calendars for June the 15th. Mm -hmm. Paul, thank you so much for coming. Sure. It's going to be very exciting. It'll be very interesting, and there will be some science, but I guarantee it won't be boring. Okay. <laughs> It'll be really interesting and, and very understandable. That's one of my, I think, talents. I'm able to really break it down. Break so it, it makes, down. Makes it makes a whole lot of sense, so everybody will be able to understand it. You don't have to be a biologist. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> That's important, yeah. too. Thank you so much again sure. for coming. Thank we'll you. We'll look forward to seeing you on Saturday. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you so much.
Well, let's see what's cooking in the kitchen. And today we have a special guest from Sobresada. It is a new franchise which is right across the street from the administration building. And it is fabulous, so let's find out a little bit more about it. Thank you for coming in today. I mean, we're so excited. I actually saw the sign, you know, because obviously I go to the bank, I go there to the center all the time. And one day, my friend Moki and I were just like, hmm, we're starving. Let's see what this is. It was so great. I could not believe how good it was. Thank you. I mean, it was really good. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> you know, no kidding. <laughs> so we enjoyed it uh, tremendously. And so how did it actually get started? And how did you come up with this name? Sure. Well, um, it's, we're a family-owned restaurant. Oh, great. Um, mm -hmm. And we've been around for tw actually 20, 25 years. OK. Uh, but five years ago, we were branded to Sabrosada. Now, Sabrosada is sort of a mixture of two words. We have the sabroso, which in Spanish means delicious. Delicious, so yeah, sabrosa. And then we have uh, asada, which means uh, like on the grill. Asada? Carne asada, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we married the two words, uh, uh -huh. and 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 it's been it's been an amazing ride. But it's still uh, uh, family owned, and we we really focus on quality. We make everything fresh. Mm -hmm. um, oh yes, definitely. Extremely it's really fresh. And, and I think you, people can taste that. And we have a lot of loyalty uh, customers that keep mm -hmm. returning and returning. And every time they come, they keep bringing more friends and more friends. So it's been an amazing experience uh, to yes. be part of the of the company. I mean, when we went we were like eating the guacamole we actually could actually <laughs> there were pieces of avocado in it you know I mean for real so I mean we were like totally excited about it um, so 25 years you've had this uh, a family business it's, going? It, it's a it's a family, family I'm, I'm one of the yeah. area managers in, mm -hmm. the, in the business um, and for the business and uh, so yeah they've they're still you still see the owners very active in and out and making sure that all the details are there um, they really they want to make sure that Essentially, their idea is that when their dining room is a representation of their of their own dining room in their home, oh. and that's the way they approach it. The, oh. the cleanliness, nice. the quality of the ingredients. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't compromise the quality and the freshness of the ingredients for for any reason. Our prices are still very very affordable. We, we feel for the portion size that we give, yeah. and I think that's one of the. Um, People get to know us for that. Um, right. Affordable prices, great quality, well, great Well, when portions. you look at it, first you're <laughs> thinking, flavor. oh my God, you know, like it's practically $5 for a taco, but then when you get it, the taco is like enormous, <laughs> you know? It, yeah. I mean, it's really, it's really very generous really portions. Really generous yeah. portions, yes. Um, and, and, we, and we're open with, from 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. to some, one of our locations closes at 4 a.m. during the, the weekend. In the morning? In the morning, yes. Oh my God. Um, so we, uh, <laughs> We, uh, we cover a, a, a wide range during the day. So because of that, we have a very wide uh, menu. Mm -hmm. We have amazing breakfast plates. Mm -hmm. um, we have your typical, you know, um, lunch. known lunch mm -hmm. items. And then we have your, your late night. We have the asada fries or the nachos that usually it is a very popular or the California burrito that becomes a very late night um, item as well. But we also, again, we balance it out. We have some vegetarian dishes as well. Oh, okay. uh, we have, a, a, in fact, I brought a, a, a potato taco. That's one of my favorites. This one? Uh, this is a potato this taco. This one, this one. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, Very. because I can't see the potato <laughs> in it. But um, this is the potato taco? Yes, that's a potato okay. taco. All right, that's great. Um, and then you can find that also in shredded beef or shredded chicken. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, and then here I brought and this one. This is our, our street tacos. I, I brought one of every kind of meat that we that we uh, prepare. We have right. like carnitas. We have carne asada. We have mm -hmm. al pastor. Al pastor and carnitas is our pork. Yes. And they have your again your steak and your and your chicken that we do on the grill. And we mm. always like to. And to this here, what yes. is the, what are these little beautiful <laughs> things here? So they're a special. Type of, of chili that uh -huh. we have, um, we don't charge for those, but we like to to always uh, have them available available so that when people want that that authentic taste, uh -huh. not only do they experience it with the food, but we add th those little bits that that perhaps you can find again in the owner's home, uh, uh, you know, accompanying their 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 meals. And so, so, what is this? It's like it looks like uh, it's a, a pepper. it's a delicious pepper. It's mm -hmm. a little bit. It can be a little a little hot, mm -hmm. but it has a lot of flavor. So mm -hmm. it's a great. Uh, uh, accompanies your dish very well. A little mm. bit of bite of the chili, a little bit of bite of the taco, or the wow, or wow. whatever you may be having. It looks great, and this is pro this looks like breakfast. This is a breakfast dish. Again, mm -hmm. you can find this in a burrito. We the good thing with us is we can make things in any item the way you like it. Right. We can remove right. things, we can add things because we make it on the spot. Wow, uh, it looks none of our food delicious. is ever frozen. Mm. Um, and this is just to give a sample of. Again, we're open from 6 a.m. This particular location across the street closes at 2 a.m. Um, 
and um, oh, we're at two a.m. Oh, two so a.m. So late night, yes. Oh, so after hey. I get a night in the town, you can always stop by. Yeah, you, you, that's that. There's hardly any place you can go and get something to eat at. 10 o'clock even. Yeah, we're open you late. You know, all Absolutely. the kitchens are closed at 10. It, and it's one of the things we're known for. You know, again, ah, open late and we're open good super to know. early, good 6 a.m. as well. Yeah. Well, there is one thing I want you to know, that um, Sobrasada is going to be one of our guests at the Taste of Laguna Woods. So you'll be able to come in on June the 8th and try it out because they will be part of our tasting that is going on. So we're so excited to have someone new, fresh, wholesome, really great food uh, that you'll be able to taste at the Taste of Laguna Woods. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to seeing you there. So that is so exciting. So are you going to be showing the, uh, I mean, are you going to be serving the street tacos? We are actually, we're going to okay. bring some street tacos for you guys to taste and um, it'll be, we're looking forward to the event. That, that is going to be so great. Well, thank you so thank much you, for Lexi. coming. Thank you, very much. I mean, all I can say is, <laughs> tastes great. <laughs> thank you very much, really appreciate it. Well, welcome back. And I have with us today another special guest. This is Suze Angel. She is our Feldenkrais Movement instructor. Uh, she is incredible. That's all I can say. She, has, she is also a, how do you say, um, rehabilitation therapist. And she does our Feldenkrais Brain Body Movement classes here at Clubhouse 2 every Tuesday. So Sue, thank you so much for coming. Can you give them a little bit of tidbits about the class and why it's important to come? It's important to come because we get locked in our habits. That and a lot true. of people lose posture, you lose height, you lose mobility because you basically forget. You forget what you actually knew, what you did when you were younger. And so what we do is we go back to the basics, back to the basics of how you bend over get up and down from the ground, roll over to get out of bed, get on and off the toilet. All of these things that sometimes people who lose their balance, that's when they have the fall. And if you fall down and you can't get up from the floor unless you call 911. Right. And these good looking young guys come and pick you up. <laughs> it's a thrill for all the neighbors to see these good looking guys but it costs a lot of money to get picked up from the floor. Wouldn't it be better to learn how to do it yourself? Yes, I, I, I remember, um, because Sue has been doing this class for several years now here in the village, and I remember this one uh, <clears throat> lady who came, she came with her daughter and her son. Do you remember that, yes. Sue? Mm -hmm. She could not get down on the floor at all, but they insisted that she was gonna take this class, and so she did come, and they helped her down, and they helped her up, and they waited during the class, and not even a month passed by where she was telling them, oh, you don't need to come anymore. And it was amazing. I mean, for me, that was just like a testimony of how great Sue's ability is to teach people how to get up off the ground, and with no help, you know, for people it's who have basics. just forgotten. These are basic functions, basic human functions that translate into many other things. They actually translate into a healthier body because your organs need movement. You need to learn how to breathe. We, most people don't breathe properly. Gee, I've been breathing wrong all my life. I know. Because I've been told to suck in my stomach and tuck the pelvis under. And that posture actually locks your hip joints, puts pressure on your knees, and even people who've had hip joint replacements Sometimes they're not using their body properly. They don't recover. And then and they have to get another one. Another one. One, two, three, four. Yes. It's bionic man. Bionic yes. woman. We would rather be real. Yes. And use our bodies properly. That's yes. what we do. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing together is we're going on a cruise to Alaska. And this cruise is going to be incredible because Sue's coming along with us and we are going to be learning all about keeping our balance and you know being okay with being in the water and it is going to be just really really great and before the before we take off Sue's offering for anyone who signs up to go on the cruise they can come and have free classes so that they can just kind of really get mm -hmm. into 
uh, improving their body and their uh, health. Yes, the first class is free. Mm -hmm. You come and you see if it's something that appeals to you. And um, I really offer this because I think that people need to have this introduction. Yes. Now on the cruise, it's going to be the equivalent of having a Feldenkrais workshop because you're going to get to have several classes. Yes. The days that we're at sea, we'll have classes. In the evenings, we'll have entertainment. We will have fun. You'll learn how to really enjoy your body and move around and if you do a little bit too much the next day you'll fix it up because you can lie on the floor and release all those muscles and, yes. and just improve. Yes. I've also heard, I saw in ARP magazine that cruises are very important for people who feel like they're losing balance because the ship is constantly yes. challenging you yes. to change, to shift. You can't just walk around like a stiff old person. You have to really get with the program. That is a very true thing. That mm -hmm. is, I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. But one thing that you need to know is that whether you're going on the cruise or not, it doesn't matter. The classes are available to you every single week here at Clubhouse 2 at 9.30 in the morning to 11.15 on a Tuesday every Tuesday morning and your first class is free whether you're going on the cruise or not. Exactly. I just wanted exactly. to make that clear to mm -hmm. everyone because it is a super class and we just love Sue and she is just so knowledgeable and you'll learn a lot about your own body. So mm -hmm. Sue, thank you so much for coming in again and oh, supporting you, our club and uh, just really helping us to be healthier. It's always a pleasure and I'm going to be there to help you out serving the food. At on Taste of Laguna. Taste of Laguna Woods. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Mm, good, mm -hmm. good. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. We have a special treat for you today. This is my good friend, Moki. She's with the Woods Trio here in the village and you play on the fourth, uh, what is it, Moki? Fourth Wednesday of every month. The fourth at Wednesday? Clubhouse One. Okay, mm -hmm. the fourth Wednesday of every month at Clubhouse One. one. Yes. yes, she is a great voice. And so we just wanted to do a praise song this morning and we give you lots of blessings. All right, Moki, hit Thank it. You. Why should I be discouraged? Why should the shells fall? Why should my heart be weary and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my potion? My constant friend is he, for his eyes is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free. is on the sparrow and I know he watches over me thanks for watching and remember everything that you do do with love. Ha, ha, ha.